Hello everyone, welcome, welcome to my sewing room and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christine and today I thought I would do a video sharing seven things that just make sense in my sewing room. So before we dive in, I just wanted to share, I'm wearing a brand new bleaker sweatshirt that I just made hot off the sewing machine. This is a French Terry from Minerva. I'll link it below. I've used it before. Really love it. It's great quality. And I love that it's stretchy enough that you can use the same fabric as the body for your bands. So I really love this French Terry. And on this bleaker for the ruffles, I did a contrast. I did it in a kind of a sparkly organza thinking that it would give it a little bit of a holiday feel. And I really like the way it turned out. Okay, so first thing in my sewing room that just makes sense is actually right behind me. You've probably seen these before. These are just tag boards from Ikea. I have two of them hung up and I use them for obviously for any mood board images as well as patterns as I'm working on a pattern. You know, maybe you still need to check the some of the markings or your um, you know, as I'm working with things, I just pin them right onto the pin board and they're really easy to access. Also with commercial patterns, you could pin the instructions up there, um, any notes you have that you're following. I just absolutely love having these. It's super, super handy. The next thing in my sewing room that just makes sense are my wall shelves. So this wall, there's not a lot of space between um, the table, which is here, and the wall. So it was pretty limited on what I could do with this area and I didn't want to waste the space. So I ended up also from Ikea, these kind of floating wall shelves. I had four of them put in and it's such a great place for my patterns, um, vintage patterns, books, magazines. I really, really love having the space that it's just easy to grab and go. Um, and it's also decorative too, because this wall you can actually see from the hallway. So I like it. It's like kind of a, has a decorative feature as well as being really practical. And next up, you may have seen them before because I did a YouTube video walking through how I did them. And that is my drawer organizers. So these just make sense. I never really considered myself to be a very structured organizer type of person, but I love these. I love that here I have my clips, I have my bobbins, all of my needles are here, bigger clips, all kinds of different things that I have organized. And then in my other one, I have all of my scissors and marking pens and different, like my rotary cutters, my large scissors, my detail scissors, my seam rippers, and then my marking pens. So at least for the notions that I'm using every single project or very often, it's really nice to have them organized and at hand. And so yeah, I'll drop the link to the tutorial if you're interested. The next thing that just makes sense is my big basket of patterns. So this is actually how I store all of my printed patterns. So I just roll them up, rubber band them, and then they all go into this basket. The only caveat here is with all the sewing that I do, my basket is finally getting rather full. So I'm either going to need to get a new one or maybe cull some of the patterns that I don't use or I'm not gonna use again. But I really, really love this option, this way of storing my printed patterns. Another thing that makes sense in my sewing room is this rolly cart, rolly storage cart. It fits, so I was able to find one that fit underneath the table. It does have its wheels so I can roll it around. I have all kinds of my elastics, buttons, laces, underwear elastic, ribbons, um, all in um, Ziploc bags in these drawers. Um, here, all my sewing machine accessories, and here, some upcycle jeans that I'm storing. So this has been a really good storage option. I love that I can move it. I love that I hardly even notice that it's there because it just kind of hides under the table. And I do think I probably would have room for another one if the need someday arises. The next thing that just makes sense in my sewing room is my big center table. So I've thought about putting, actually I've tried putting the table up against one of the walls because I mean, it would give me more empty floor space, but I love having the table that I can walk around. So I can literally use when I'm laying out a fabric, I can be here, I can be cutting, 
I can be here in front cutting, I can be over here, you know, doing things, and then I can also be here at my sewing machine and my serger. And I can walk all the way around the table, which makes it really, really great for doing all the sewing things, for cutting and, you know, just maneuvering between the sewing machines and the ironing board and from the serger to the sewing machine. I love having the table be in the center as opposed to up against the wall where you really lose one whole side and you lose that ability to move around. So these are actually also from Ikea. A lot of the things in here are from Ikea. Um, but these are two of their large tables. So I just have two of them put together to form one large square table right in the middle of my sewing room. And last but not least is a little detail that makes a big difference. And that is my hanging rack. It is so nice to have a rack to hang things as I'm working on them, a work in progress. Maybe something is taking several days to finish and I can easily hang it so it's not getting wrinkled, it's not getting in the way. And my hanging rack is right to the side of my ironing board. So it's also really easy to have things to iron and just in this area, also my sewing machines are here. So I'm sewing, I'm ironing, hanging, and it just all kind of is working together right in this area. But I really love having the rack to hang samples or work in progress. Sometimes it also becomes a second closet. Um, so, but I really, really enjoy having a hanging rack here. Last but not least is a good sewing buddy. So this is Owen, my sewing buddy, and it wouldn't be a sewing room without a best friend. And so, yeah, that is the last thing in my sewing room that makes a lot of sense. So as always, thank you so much for watching and for all of your kind comments and for supporting the channel. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye. Bye, everybody.